So yeah, you guys, uh, I'm not condoning drug use. Don't use drugs. But um, here are the best movies to watch while you're high. First thing I'm going to recommend is Ted. Think about what this movie is. This is a movie about a grown man hanging out with a teddy bear and just like smoking. And the teddy bear talks and like bangs and does other silly stuff that teddy bears shouldn't do. Ted. Next we have Scooby-Doo. I think we really know what Scooby and Shaggy are all about. They're all about eating food and doing other stuff that we know. We can see through that. We can read that subtext. You know, we know what they're all about. There's some jokes in this movie you'll find really, really funny. And Scooby-Doo is just awesome to begin with. So watch Scooby-Doo. And I'm talking about like the live action one. The one with like Matthew Lillard as Shaggy. And then you got Freddie Prince Jr. as... the hell is that guy's name? Fred! Next, you got Harold and Kamara. I feel like these are movies designed to watch when high. It's a movie about two stoners and they go on these crazy adventures. Just watch any of them. Start with White Castle and then just work your way through them. I think there's like three of them. I think there's like two of them and then like a Christmas one. Still need to see the Christmas one. So, yeah. Really what it boils down to is Kevin Smith. Watch any Kevin Smith movie while high and you're going to have a good time. But not like anyone. Like I'm thinking like dogma or clerks or clerks 2 or jay and silent bob strike back but the one that the one that i'd really recommend though is mall rats i think this is just a good time it's like kind of the most endearing kevin smith movie to me at least i don't know why because it kind of got slammed in terms of in terms of reviews but yeah mall rats is a good time and i'm sure it'll be Fun when you're, you know. Next, I'm going to give you a David Lynch movie, Eraserhead. You're going to watch this movie and you're just going to say, I get it. And you're totally not going to get it at all, but you're going to think that you get it. Eraserhead is like a really like mind bending, weird, avant-garde film that you'll just like, you'll have no idea what you watch, but at the same time, you'll completely understand it. So Eraserhead, there you go. Also, you get some really cool visuals in that one. So, yeah. Next, we got the Big Lebowski. You got the dude. You got Walter and you got Donnie. These three guys, they go on an adventure. They're trying to get the dude's rug back. And he really just brought the whole room together. This is, like, the best Coen Brother film in one of the funniest movies ever. And it's so, like, calm about the way it goes about its humor. It's very, it's very Coen Brothers, I'll say that. Jeff Bridges as the dude is one of the most iconic performances ever. And especially like also like Walter, you know, John Goodman playing Walter. It's just great. You got Steve Buscemi. It's just such a good movie. Great performances. The The movie is like really stupid, but it's also amazing. Coen brothers are just, they're on a different level, you know? All right, I got two more for you. I'm going to lump these ones together because they're similar. We have The Naked Gun. The first one, watch the first Naked Gun and Airplane. These movies are so stupid. They are dumb, but they are the funniest things that you'll ever watch ever. These movies have like barely any plot at all. They're really, the, the movies exist just to make you laugh. There are jokes every five to 10 seconds, literally. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, I am serious and don't call me Shirley. If you've heard that, that's from Airplane. And you might think like, that's not funny. My mom says that or my grandma says, well, it is funny. Okay. Watch this movie because it's hilarious. Which movie? Both of them. Watch both of them at the same time. Watch them both at the same time. No, don't do that. Watch Naked Gun and then watch Airplane. And you're just going to laugh for like three or four hours straight. It's just a great time. So yeah, those are the greatest movies to watch when you're high or drunk. Um, don't drink and don't do drugs. Goodbye.